Chai, kailangan na natin mag-meeting para sa send-off party ng seniors natin. Kailan kayo pwede? Ah, okay. Sige-sige. Naiintindihan ko naman. Pero kailangan din kasi natin talaga magplano kung paan natin yun gagawin kasi long-standing tradition na yon sa department natin. Ay, oo nga pala, no? Okay, sige. Pwede na nga pala ang online meeting. Sa GMIT na lang ata, para mas maayos ang virtual setup ng meeting. Sige, sige. Ano nga ba? Para ma-inform din natin si Mom. Mga 5 p.m.? Much progress has been brought by technological advancement in terms of how we communicate with other people. Communication nowadays can happen anytime, anywhere, and in any platform. Meetings and planning sessions that were used to be conducted inside physical conference rooms have shifted to the virtual conference rooms in any platform such as Skype, Google Meet, and Zoom meetings, where everyone can be used a participation in the conversation and discussion is guaranteed. Thanks to this great technological advancement, distance is no longer an issue. All you need is your technological device, be it your smartphone or your laptop. A trustworthy internet connection and a virtual platform where the meeting is set to transpire and poof, you are now in the roundtable discussion. Asa na kaya si Bari? Kanina pa tayo nagantay dito pero wala pa. Di ba nasabihan mo si Barry about dito sa online meeting natin? Oo, nabriak ko nga siya ng thumbs up dun sa chat ko eh. Pero 5.30 na kasi eh. Saan na kaya siya? Ang dami pa natin kailangan mag-usapan para sa Selva 40. Next week na yun, di ba? Gagawa pa tayo ng budget proposal tapos ipapa-approve pa sa department head. Baka mag-ahol na tayo sa oras. Sabi niya naman sa akin last time, a-attend rin daw siya. So, baka may na lang yung internet connection sa kanila for now. Hindi siya naka-online, kaya di tayo update. Magsimula na lang kaya tayo, kasi abuti na naman tayo ng gabi na ito. Manali pa natin kailangan ni Sabina. Ah, oh, sige, baka makahabal pa naman siya. No, Trisha. Sa kanya natin ibibigay yung karamihan ng mga tasks na gagawin. Kasi wala siya dito sa meeting. Technology has now become a vital part of communication in society. This acquired more prominence, especially during the pandemic lockdowns, because of the ease and convenience it provided when everything needed to shift to virtual transactions and interactions. At present, disconnecting from technology is as if paralyzing the daily interactions we have. We have become unconsciously too reliant on it because of the situation we experienced during the pandemic. This then has a great drawback in instances when we forget that despite the presence of technological progress, not all can access it at any point, at any time, and in any place. A lot of factors affect these circumstances, such include those concerning the lack in financial capacity of individuals in accessing technology like gadgets and secure internet connectivity that will connect them to the virtual world. Another is the reality that not all places are areas where connectivity is assured given the geographical setup of our area. When one unconsciously overlooks this reality, we tend to forget the humanity needed of us amidst technological progress. We unconsciously become inconsiderate of other situation, brought about by the unconscious idea that when the circumstance became imperative to shift in favor of technology, we thought everyone was able to move forward with it. Checking reality, this was not the case. Not everyone had means to easily avail and join this technological process.
Hi guys, very sorry na hindi ako naka-join sa online meeting natin. Kakarating ko lang sa bahay after 5 hours. Nasiraan ng UP Express na nasakyan ko pa uwi ng Sorsogon. Kaya nasta kami sa daan for 2 hours. And minalas pa ako na hindi ako nakapag-charge the night before. Kaya nalubot ako at hindi na makapag-alaw ko pa naman makapatid ako ng meeting kahit pa uwi sa amin. Kasi online naman. Kaso ganun na nga yung nangyari. Pasensya na ulit guys, bawaya ako sa magiging delegation of tasks natin. Isa ko na pag-usapan niyo sa mga. Salamat sa pag-inawa. Uy, nag-chat si Barry dun sa Messenger GC ng School Org. Oo nga, kakabasa ko lang din ngayon. Kaya naman pala din nakasipot kanina kasi nagka-aberya sa biyahe niya pa uwi. Oo naman, nauunawaan natin yun. Kahit na advance na tayo sa technology, ay may mga panahon pa rin na pahirapan sa pag-access nito. Wala eh, yun ang reality. Sige, e-distribute na lang ulit natin yung task bukas. consideration pa rin naman tayo. Mag-meeting na lang ulit tayo pagbalik natin sa university. Technology was made for progress and enhancement of our life, but should not sacrifice the humanity within us and in the relationship we have with one another. As experts have pointed out, technology should not lead us to become less social, less compassionate, and more isolated. Technology should not stand against us empathizing and going deeper with our real connections with the real that is why the protection of the well-being and the upholding of dignity of the human person must be at the core of continued progress and development. The proof of this is that local organizations have laid out provisions and legally based recommendations contextualized in the field of technological progress and development that ultimately concern safeguarding and securing the well-being of all people. Such documents include the UNESCO Declaration on the Use of Scientific Knowledge in 1999, the UNESCO Recommendation on the Status of Scientific Researches in 1974, and above all, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights which encompasses all other related principles oriented towards securing inalienable human rights that are vital and necessary in the pursuit of the good life. 